slopping through the mud. Do -do 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 -do. And this is the stuff. This is called fiber optic cable. So these guys are going to install a one gigabit line on our farm. I can't believe it. So Joaquin has a new puppy. <coughs> I love hearing the bells. Now, I'm not sure exactly where this is supposed to be happening because I would have expected it to be happening right here. So one of the cool things about the farm that we have is that even though we're in the middle of nowhere, uh, a short distance down the road, we have this bar. Hey, it's Ken from OK Portugal, and today something very exciting was supposed to be happening on the farm. And it's all to do with this phone pole just over here. Three and a half years ago, when we first moved into the farm, the fastest internet speed that we could get was around four megabits. So four megabits download speed. Uh, I think the upload speed was about half a megabit. It was painfully slow in today's modern world. It wasn't enough to kind of stream things like Netflix, and um, it was really bad for uploading videos and things like that. So towards the front of the farm over there, uh, the third pole, uh, that's where we were standing earlier and the phone line comes along these poles and into the house so you can see it's just a, a regular copper phone line and that gave us broadband internet or adsl now broadband was quick many years ago but obviously it's quite slow especially when you're in rural areas and you're quite far away from the exchange now because the adsl was so slow we got one of these things this is basically a wi-fi router so it can broadcast wi-fi signals and uh, it takes a sim card the kind of thing that you'd find in a mobile phone. The mobile phone tower that we get reception from is quite far in that direction. So we don't really have line of sight or anything like that. So I got myself a special antenna. This is a 4G uh, antenna. It's omnidirectional, so it picks up uh, signals from a 360 degree direction. And uh, yeah, that basically plugs into the back of the router. So we've got a wire going through the wall, into the house and into the back of the router. And we've had that for the last um, two and a half years or so. So for the last two and a half years, we've had pretty decent internet. Now that gives us speeds of up to around 70 megabits per second download and uh, around 27 megabits per second upload. So way, way faster. Like we were able to stream, uh, you know, 4K, Netflix, um, YouTube. I was able to upload all of my videos, you know, nice and easily and stuff like that. Um, but things have changed, things have moved on and now we're able to get fiber. And this is the stuff. This is called fiber optic cable. And it's basically got little glass strands inside here that they pass light through. So unlike copper that uses electricity to transmit internet signals, this uses light. So behind me here, the guys are up on the poles and uh, they're busy putting in the fiber. Uh, I don't actually even have to pay for it, which is pretty great. I spoke to Mio, which is the service provider, and uh, they, um, they've basically set it up for me. Wow, I'm, I just had to have a pause here because I'm proper sinking into the ground. Look at this. <laughs> This field is very, very muddy at the moment. So fiber optic broadband, uh, you've probably all heard of it. It's like the fastest broadband that you can get at the moment. And on our farm, a farm that three years ago could only get four megs of download speed, we can now get 1000 megs or one gigabit. So these guys are gonna install a one gigabit line on our farm, I can't believe it. These guys have had to install about 700 meters of the cable going along here to this pole. And then they're gonna install the rest, I'm not sure how long that is, probably 100 or 150 meters all the way to the house. I wonder what that would cost if you had to pay for them to do that. So I'm pretty impressed. Now the price that I used to pay for my old internet connection um, was around 78 euros a month. Um, for that I used to get the mobile SIM card, which you know we used to get 70 meg download speeds. Uh, we used to get two mobile phones. So we had two mobile phones that had 20 gigabytes of data each. And um, we also got something called Neo TV, which is kind of like satellite TV in the UK where you get all those channels like Discovery Channel and you know all of those different things. So that was a package for $78.99 a month and pretty much our payments haven't changed and now we're being upgraded to this really fast fiber. So I can't wait. Now this isn't actually happening today. They're just doing all of the um, sort of outside prep work and then on another day an engineer is going to come and actually set us up inside. So while the guys are doing the work on the poles I've decided to come down and have a look at what's going on on Joachim's farm. Joachim's my next door neighbor. Hello, Zaki. Two to bay. So I noticed that Joachim was doing a lot of uh, trips in and out of his farm to collect some stuff. So I wanted to come down and have a look. It looks like he's putting down a bunch of gravel. 
Ah, okay. Yeah. So, as you can see in the mud, everything's sinking in. And so I think he's bought a whole bunch of this gravel and he's going to press this into the mud and hopefully it's going to stop all of this from happening. Seems like a really good idea to combat that muddy problem. Joaquin, to the bay. To the bank. Yeah. So Joaquin has a new puppy, and this is called a Refero de Alentejano. It's a type of uh, Portuguese breed of dog, and it's a little puppy, and it's very sweet. Very sweet. Hello. 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 No. Now, I did want to show you a little bit more of the puppy, but uh, the other dog was barking way too much. Uh, but yeah, what a sweet little dog. Now, he's got three dogs. One of them, as you can see, was quite barky, and he wants that, because you obviously have to have a dog that's going to be looking after your farm. Uh, there, there was one there that wasn't barking at all. He was telling me that it's really not a good dog. Well, it's not a good guard dog um, that uh, he basically kind of rescued it from another farm. So he's kind of looking after it and feeding it, but it's not doing its job. And then we have the puppy that he's just got, and hopefully that puppy is going to you know, grab to be a very good guard dog for him. I think it will, because it's a Portuguese breed from Elentejo uh, that's meant to guard farms and look after sheep and things like that. Cool, so the guys have finished the installation. They're just leaving now. And now we have two wires dangling precariously over our farm. <laughs> Quite honestly, I'm not complaining. Um, I'm going to have 400 megabits per second upload speed. Now, I know I'm, I'm spinning a lot of geeky, nerdy details out here, but I'm very excited about this because um, when you record video files like I do. I, re I record about maybe 100 gigabytes of stuff in a day. 100 gigabytes will take forever to upload. Fortunately, I edit it all down and it's not that big when I upload, but this is gonna make a huge difference to my life when I make videos, so I can't wait. We have a little traffic jam. This is, um, this is what happens around about this time of day. As you can sheep come down the road from one of the pastures where they've been and uh, find their way back to the farm where they're going to go and get milk. <laughs> I love hearing the bells. Hola, Fernanda. Hola, Botat. And we got some of the stragglers. Hurry up, guys. One day has gone past and the fiber isn't quite in the house yet. They've managed to run it over these two poles and uh, up to this one over here. And that's about as far as it's gotten. We've got this little coil here of the fiber optic cable. You can actually see um, the end of it there. You can't really see much in there. And now um, an engineer needs to come do the last little length to the house. I thought they were going to do it today, but sadly they haven't. Um, so I'm guessing they're probably going to come on Monday after the weekend. But while we're out here, I want to show you something else pretty cool. So a couple of months ago, we were given one of these cameras for free. It's basically a security camera. Uh, it's made by a company called Reolink. For full disclosure, we were given this camera for free by Reolink. Uh, all they want in return is for us to feature it in one of our videos and to tell our viewers our experience with the camera. So this camera has a rechargeable battery inside. So you don't need to wire it into the mains or anything like that. It also has Wi-Fi. You can see that little aerial sticking out the side. So you don't need any wires to plug it into your router. On the back of the camera is a USB port. Now you can either plug that into a USB charger like you'd use for your telephone, or as you can see, I've got this black wire that basically goes to the solar panel. And this little solar panel is just up on the top there. And that is constantly recharging the camera during the daytime. 
So this camera's got an app that you can basically access on your telephone. You can also access it on a computer. The app works really well. Um, it also sends you like alerts. So if there's uh, any motion that's been detected from the camera, then it'll basically send an alert to your phone. And then you can go and you can view that clip. So this particular camera is guarding our front door and basically looking down this sort of passageway. So it basically guards both of these rooms, which is pretty cool. Now, obviously I'm not gonna tell you where the rest of the cameras are because uh, you know, that's my secret. Uh, I do have a couple more. We were given this one for free, but I like them so much that um, I went on to Amazon and I bought some of these on Amazon during uh, Black Friday. And I've got a couple of them dotted around the farm just for extra security and stuff like that. We get contacted all the time by different companies wanting to send us products so that we can put them into our videos and hopefully our viewers will be interested in them. And uh, I try to make sure that these are products that I actually want and products that actually make sense for me. Now, my honest review of this camera is that since November or whenever we got the, this camera, it's been absolutely amazing. It hasn't skipped a beat. Uh, many years ago when I had um, my business and I had a warehouse, I had these IP cameras and they were absolutely useless. They kept crashing and they were just terrible. These cameras are really, really good. And I'm not just saying that it's, um, you know, this is a product that we've actually spent our own money on. So, you know, the one that we got for free here, um, after that, we've actually gone and bought other ones because we like them so much. So I can definitely recommend them. Um, the manufacturers asked if I can put a link in the video description below and I'll put it, I'll pin it in one of the comments so you can see where you can buy one of these cameras. Hello. Hello. Now, while I've been um, filming and doing little edits and all sorts of stuff today, jean has been quite busy with her wood pile. I have. This is wood that we bought in the summer, so it's really, really dry, but I've just shifted that all in together because obviously we had loads of it and we burnt through a lot. And then we had new wood delivered, which is rain wet. It isn't wet wood, but it's damp because it's been sat in the rain. So I've separated that out so it can dry off a bit and I've made two piles. So yeah, I'm a bit pooped now. Good job. Yeah. Now we're about to hop in the car. We're about to head off to a local village. Um, it's actually just up there on the hill. They have a tradition that happens once a year and we're gonna go and have a look. Both Gina and I are feeling a little bit flat today. I think it's just like, it's just the weather. It's just like cold and it's gray and it's, I don't know. We're just both a bit like. It's been a whole month of rain as well. So I think it's accumulated. Yeah, it's like, like accumulated darkness. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go and cheer ourselves up with this little festival. I love these old Portuguese sort of villages, these granite buildings and these beautiful old tiles. Got so much charm. So the place that we're going is actually next door to um, our village. It's called Lurisal de Campo and uh, we should be there in a couple of minutes. It's actually a very sweet little, uh, little village and they have something on today. Now I'm not sure exactly where this is supposed to be happening because I would have expected it be happening right here because this is like a big stage and uh, this is where you would think that they would be having a festival and everyone sort of down here. I'm pretty sure I don't have the dates wrong. I was sent a flyer, um, Joaquin's son Sergio, he sent me a flyer uh, telling me that I must go down here and I must film this. So yeah, let me figure it out. This is actually really nice. Look, this is all, this is all new. This has been newly renovated and newly built. They've got little tables here where you can eat. And they've got this big area where we just come from where there's like a big sort of stage and the old church out there. Okay, so let's see if we can find this. I'm pretty sure I don't have the dates wrong. I can't see any action happening right now, which is a real shame because I really wanted to see this. Right, so I've just been in this um, little cafe over here and I just asked them where this thing's happening. This is a very cute little village. Look at this. All these little streets, really, really nice. Huh. So I found the place. Um, it's actually just up the road there. Uh, the problem is um, it, they're not set up yet. So they're actually running a little bit late. I think I can hear some music starting. So we'll be there shortly, but I'm gonna have a drink first and uh, keep ourselves hydrated. So this is a question for you, Sergio. Um, do you know where this place is? Send me a WhatsApp and tell me how I can get to this place. Cause I've been looking for it and I can never ever find it. So now we are suitably, oh, you're about to blow your nose. Oh, I'm just gonna roll it, I feel like it's running. Um, so now we uh, are suitably hydrated and uh, we are gonna go and find this thing now. I can hear it. Okay, we have found it. This is called the Janaidas. This is basically like a type of festival where people get together and they sing and they perform for all of the houses. Yeah. 
They go from door to door and uh, they basically celebrate the baby Jesus and they celebrate the new year. And after singing a song, the people that live inside the building will then give them treats. Now normally the Janeiros happens between the 1st and the 6th of January, uh, but apparently in some villages and towns um, they wait a little bit longer. Uh, today I think is the 14th year, so um, yeah. But as you can see, they're going to go from door to door. And the original thing was all about getting leftovers, Christmas leftovers. Um, but now that's kind of changed and nowadays uh, they usually either get money or they get different types of food. <laughs> So this is the house here where um, they've just been playing a song and uh, no one's come out to give them anything. Now I've heard that when that happens, uh, it, well, like traditionally they used to have like a bad song where they'd like rebuke the people who stay in the house, um, but obviously that didn't happen now. <laughs> so yeah, so they basically go from door to door, singing songs, collecting treats, money, leftovers and things like that. And uh, we're going to follow them for a while and see what happens. Like stalkers. Genera stalkers. Genera stalkers. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the Portuguese word is for stalkers. Yeah, tell us in the comments what the Portuguese word for stalkers is. <laughs> yeah. Look at this, someone's knitted a jersey for this tree. It's wearing a little jumper. Never seen that before. And here it looks like they're going up to this house. And uh, they're gonna keep repeating the songs. I think there's a bunch of different songs that they sing. I remember I looked at Wikipedia earlier on today just to figure out exactly what this was all about and there's a whole bunch of different ones. Okay, so this is a very old traditional thing that they do here and uh, this is the very first time that we've seen it um, because of COVID and all of that. It's been quite cool to see. This is a tradition that's probably going to get lost uh, and so I really wanted to capture this on film. Uh, thank you Sergio for pointing it out for us and uh, now it's time for us to get some lunch. It's, it's quite late but basically um, I need to eat. So one of the cool things about the farm that we have is that even though we're in the middle of nowhere, uh, a short distance down the road we have this bar and it's a really cool bar it's got a good vibe and it's got some awesome beers and so this is uh, the main bar section where you can get all the drinks and then they've got like a pool table on this side and they have a whole bunch of tables where you can get some food cheers, cheers. so our local bar is called Cravo Cafe Cravo Cafe in Suleira and uh, as you can see on the menu here they've got a whole bunch of different things from pizzas uh, they've got some hamburgers and things like that they're actually quite famous for their hamburgers. And then they also sell some produce. So if you look here, they've got a whole bunch of different presuntos. Uh, we've got some, some tinned fish here. I think we've got some sardines and some trout and some carp and stuff like that. We've got some more presunto up here. A whole stack of presunto. And then, most importantly, they have Swaleira cheese. Now this is the cheese that's made from the milk that comes off this region. So, um, so basically all of the grass that's grown on and around our farm goes into these cheeses. And on the side here, they've got some honeys. Um, these honeys are from Serra da Gardunha, and that's, that is the, um, the mountain range just behind our farm. And then of course, they have a whole bunch of wines and things like that. So if you're in the area, definitely pop past Cravo Cafe and uh, give it a try. I'll give you a brief look at their menu. Maybe you can pause the screen and have a look at the things that you want and the prices and things like that. And yeah, one of the things that we really enjoy are these toasted, toasted cheese sandwiches. So it's been a weird week for us. Um, I think we've had like two property things this week. Um, we've had, I don't know, it just feels like a strange week. I just feel like a bit flat and a bit kind of like, no. ugh. That's a bit, although it's not been raining this week, it's chilly and overcast. Yeah, it's been really cold. Um, not as cold as obviously other parts of Europe where it's like frost and ice and stuff. 
but it still feels really cold for us because we don't have central heating. So all of our heating is done by the fire and we don't generally start our fire until at least midday or in the evening. I'm going to have to love you and leave you right now because I need to get this footage onto the computer, I need to edit it and I need to upload it tonight so that it can be up on Patreon. Uh, on our Patreon page we basically put our videos out a day early so that people can see them. So if you want to join us on Patreon I'm going to put a link up on the screen and you can watch our videos a day early. There's also a bunch of other benefits and stuff like that. Uh, if you can't join us on Patreon it's not the end of the world but if you can it's totally awesome and uh, we'll see you next week same time for another episode of this stuff <laughs> and we hope you like it. Ciao! Ciao. And I'm going to leave you with this as a parting shot. It's all of us slopping through the mud. Slopping through the mud. Did it did it did it did Slopping through the mud. Did it did it did it That's my little mud song. Come on, Eddie. Psst, psst, psst. Eddie. Eddie.